Welcome to today's edition of the Gateman Pregame Show presented by South Coast Health here at Spillane Field. My name is Sam Corman, joined by Connor Federico today. How you doing, Connor? Ready for another another matchup against the Bourne Braves? Well, the July 4th matchup pre went pretty well for the Wareham Gateman. It was a lot of fun, a great crowd there at Doran Park. I'm sure we're going to be expecting plenty of Gateman fans here tonight. It's going to be another beautiful night at the ballpark here at Spillane. It certainly was a good day for the Gateman in all yesterday. We'll show you the highlights from that 4-2 win over the Bourne Braves last night. Wareham Gateman traveled to Bourne yesterday to take on the Bourne Braves at Doran Park on a July 4th showdown between these Western Division rivals. We'll pick it up in the bottom half of the first inning when Bourne struck first. The speedy Jamison Hanna on second base when Scott Schreiber delivers this RBI single to give the Bourne Braves a 1-0 lead early in this game off of Gateman starter Griffin Roberts. The Braves try to add more in the first inning, but a heads-up play by Robbie Metz at third base to catch Grant Williams sleeping between third base and home and tag him out. The Gateman responded quickly in the third inning after a John Topa leadoff single. Jaron Duran slaps this one into the gap on the opposite field. He gets in the third with a triple, and John Topa scores easily to tie the game at one. It wasn't over for the Gateman here in the third. Just two batters later, Stephen Kwan, the leadoff guy, gets a sacrifice fly for his second RBI of the season. That scores Duran easily from third, and the Gateman quickly on top of the Bourne Braves by a score of 2-1. to one. After Kyle Kasser's single keeps the inning alive, it's Willie McIver with a little infield single down the right side. Robbie Metz able to come across and score to give the Gateman a 3-1 to one lead in the third inning. To the bottom of the fourth we go, it's Jared Triolo at the plate with a Witherspoon on second base, delivers a hit to the left field to cut the Gateman lead to 3-2. to two. Bourne trying to mount a comeback in the middle of this game. Gateman starter Griffin Roberts' day would end after four innings, but not after five strikeouts, including this one catching Andy Atwood looking to end that fourth inning in which Bourne was really threatening to tie this game. After three scoreless innings from Jordan Britton, Grant Wolfram comes in and strikes out Scott Schreiber right there to get the first out of the eighth inning. Into the ninth we go, it's Tanner Dodson delivering a clutch sacrifice fly at the bottom of the order on a pinch hit play, scoring John Topa from third base, his second run of the game, and the Gateman adds some insurance in the top half of the ninth to take a 4-2 lead over Bourne. The Gateman got that big insurance run in the top half of the ninth, but Brett Canine did not need it. Strikes out Richie Palacio, swinging there. And here comes another one to Jared Triolo, the eight hitter. Also gone down a fastball outside. And here comes Andy Atwood to try his best against Brett Canine, but he was just too good. Strikes out the side of the ninth inning and route to a big Gateman 4-2 victory over the Bourne Braves at Doran Park on a July 4th evening. A great game all around from the Gateman yesterday, trying to do the same against Bourne today. The fireworks were certainly on display for the Gateman pitchers yesterday. Griffin Roberts, Jordan Britton, followed by Grant Wolfram and Brett Kanine to close it out. It was just an all-around great pitching performance. Well, yeah, only four pitchers for the Wareham Gateman last night, and it was, like you said, it was just complete. You know, Roberts came in, he threw four great innings of baseball, then you allow Jordan Britton, his first appearance with the Gateman, where he showed off some fantastic stuff. Three innings, really good work from him, and then you ask Grant Wolfram and Brett Kanine, like you said, just one inning each and that's exactly the recipe for success for the Gateman especially in a league and with coaches like Don Sneddon and uh, Jim Lawler who want to protect these pitchers arms and want to keep them healthy and just want to give them the experience it's really great that we saw no pitcher go more than four innings but the Gateman it seemed like they were just one big pitching unit mm -hmm. yesterday it was a really all-around great performance by those guys absolutely Grant Wolfram and Brett Canine coming in um, Wolfram gets the hold, Kanine gets the save. Combined five strikeouts over those two innings. Pretty impressive stuff from those two guys. We'll send it to break here on the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. When you're sick or injured, you want care when and where it's convenient for you. South Coast Health Urgent Care has four locations, Fairhaven, Wareham, and now in Seekonk and Dartmouth. 
you can view wait times and even check in online at southcoast.org slash urgent care. Choose the time and location that's best for you. We'll even remind you when it's time to come in and walk-ins are always welcome. Urgent care that exists to meet your needs. More than you expected, that's more than medicine. Check in at southcoast.org slash urgent care. Welcome back to the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. I'm Claudia Chikamian with Gateman pitcher Brett Kanine. Brett, first of all, your fastball was working really well for you. So what was really clicking at the, for you, or at the mound for you last night? You know, uh, the catcher just kept calling the fastballs in and out, just mixing around the plate, uh, keeping the hitters guessing with a few off-speed pitches, but really just attacking the zone and then the hitters took themselves out. And what was the main thing that you've been working with Coach Lawler with since you've gotten here to improve yourself each time? Uh, back at Fullerton, I was really slow to the plate, and so Coach Lawler was helping me speed up that process and uh, really create angle, which helps me hit my spots better. So I guess just being quicker to home is really the key that we've been working on. And when you first started off playing baseball, you were a starter, and now um, ever since your last, last season at Cal State, you've been closing us, you're doing here now. So what's that transition been like, especially last night when you go out for three strikeouts to the end of the game? I mean, yeah, uh, I guess my first year at Fullerton, it was a lot different uh, converting from like a starter type role to the closer role, but uh, especially after just last season, having that whole year to experience that closer type role, it just felt really comfortable going into the game last year. Great, thank you. Back to you guys. Thank you, Claudio. Welcome back to the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. A big pitching matchup coming today in this game. Miller Hogan was phenomenal in his last performance against Katuit. That was out in Katsuit. He's going again for the Gateman today. Yeah, and he really got a lot of help from his offense, too. 11 nothing in favor of the Gateman. That win just about a week ago now, and Miller Hogan showed us some outstanding stuff. We saw at Lowell Park the, uh, the scoreboard where the pitch speed comes up. Miller Hogan hit 95 with his fastball, and that's really impressive, especially when a team asks you to throw five innings here in the Kate League. So he really has shown us what he has in terms of the speed on the fastball, a little life on it too and then the accuracy throwing it for first pitch strikes getting himself in 0-2 and 1-2 counts and that's really the, his recipe for success you know Miller Hogan's been great for the Gateman yeah Miller Hogan out of St. Louis University Brian Eichhorn and his Georgia Southern Eagles finished in the runner-up position of their conference championship this year they lost to South Alabama down in the Sun Belt a tough one for them yeah, and Eichhorn has been pretty good for the Eagles over the past two years. 25 combined starts, freshman and sophomore year, 105 strikeouts. His freshman year posted a 6-2 and two record, so he has really good stuff. And not to mention his 3-0 and o record so far through this Cape Cod Baseball League summer. He has been fantastic for the Bourne Braves. This is a guy they rely on, just like the Gateman rely on Miller Hogan, to throw confident and effective innings. So it's going to be a good matchup tonight between the two. Thank you. And when we come back, we will hear from Claudia Chikaman as well as our beat writer Matt Feld here on the South Coast Health Gateman pregame show. When you're sick or injured, you want care when and where it's convenient for you. South Coast Health Urgent Care has four locations, Fairhaven, Wareham, and now in Seekonk and Dartmouth. You can view wait times and even check in online at southcoast.org slash urgent care. Choose the time and location that's best for you. We'll even remind you when it's time to come in, and walk-ins are always welcome. Urgent care that exists to meet your needs. More than you expected? That's more than medicine. Check in at southcoast.org slash urgent care. Welcome back to the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. I'm Claudia Chikamian with head coach Don Sneddon. Coach, seeing the same team you saw last night, your pitching staff was outstanding, but what do you want to see the hitters doing at the plate tonight a little differently than last night? Well, this is more like their college season where you play teams three times, so they're going to have to make adjustments because the other team will make adjustments. They've seen them play, they've seen them hit know how to pitch him so it'll be a good challenge for our hitters and also for our pitchers to see if they know how to pitch their hitters. Guys like Stephen Kwan and Jaron Duran who are known to be very speedy and can steal bags they were the ones driving in the runs last night they each had an RBI so is that the kind of things you also want to see from those guys? Yeah well the clutch hitting you know we'd love to have a home run but you know reality is I'll take a base hit with a runner second anytime uh, and those guys are clutch guys they don't seem to care whether it's runner on second, nobody on, whatever. They do a professional job, go after it, and get a good pitch to hit. 
Now, Miller Hogan is going to be on the mound tonight for you guys. He was very good in his last outing, five innings, six strikeouts. So what do you want to see him improve on tonight? Well, just keeping that uh, breaking ball over consistently uh, with that and just keeping him off balance because that makes his fastball even faster if he can get that over. When hitters have to look for two or three pitches versus one pitch, it adds miles per hour to that fastball and uh, just changes that hitter's whole approach. Great. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Sam. Thanks, Claudia. A reminder that you can contact us here at the Gateman Press Box at pressbox at gateman.org. That's pressbox at gateman.org. Feel free to sh shoot us any questions, comments, or concerns about broadcasts, about pregame, postgame. Also follow us on Twitter at Wareham Gateman, on Facebook, SoundCloud, and on YouTube, of course. Here with our beat writer, Matt Feld, for another edition of Feld at the Field. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're going to talk about a player who's been here since the very beginning of the season. He's only, not, he's only been in the lineup. He's been in the lineup every single game except for one, and that's John Topa. He's batting above 330. What do you like about him? Yeah, John Topa is having a really nice year um, so far. He qualifies currently for eighth in the league in batting average of 344. And he, as you said, he's played just about every day. The only day he missed was three days ago when he finally got a day off. Even the game he missed against Chatham, it was just game two of a doubleheader. So he played that day and had to get ready to play that day. So he's really been a grinder for this team. He hits the ball the other way really well. He always puts the ball in play. He always puts together productive at bats. He's never going to go up there and pop up on the first pitch or anything like that. He's going to make the opposing pitcher work, and he's usually going to put the ball in play and make the opposing team make a really nice defensive play, and that's what I really like about John Toba. He's someone who can just shows up at the ballpark every day, and you know you're going to get production out of him, whether it's via a ground out for an RBI, sacrifice slide to move a runner over, or just get a base hit. He knows how to play baseball, and he's just a solid all-around collegiate baseball player. We're about halfway through the season now. The Gateman 9-11 at this point in the season, and another game against the Bourne Braves. It's the back half of a home and home. They beat them yesterday by a score of four to two. What are the what's the importance of this particular game in the schedule right now? Yeah, the game are have been kind of one win, one loss, one win, one loss. They've lost two in, two in a row twice this year, and this is another chance to do this just that. Win three out of four against a division rival. They're at nine and eleven, as you said, but they're still just two points out of first place, out of second place rather, and that's right behind these born Braves. So you've got an opportunity tonight to go into tomorrow's off day at twenty one games of forty four, not quite the halfway point, but just about there, sitting in second place after a two and five start to the season to go eight and six over the next fourteen games going into tomorrow, I think would be pretty great for the Gateman. And so to me the importance of this game is pretty big. It's a home game. The day after July 4th, you just had a really nice momentum win yesterday with the pitching. So today, if you can come away and go into tomorrow's off day, you're feeling pretty good about yourself at 10 and 11. Absolutely. And we'll send it to a quick break. Thank you to Matt Feld for joining the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. When you're sick or injured, you want care when and where it's convenient for you. South Coast Health Urgent Care has four locations, Fairhaven, Wareham, and now in Seekonk and Dartmouth. You can view wait times and even check in online at southcoast.org slash urgent care. Choose the time and location that's best for you. We'll even remind you when it's time to come in, and walk-ins are always welcome. Urgent care that exists to meet your needs. More than you expected? That's more than medicine. Check in at southcoast.org slash urgent care. Welcome back to the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. The Gateman coming off that big 4-2 win in Bourne yesterday. They're on the back half of the home and home. Who was the guy for Bourne yesterday that really stuck out to you? Well, Jamison Hanna, over his first two performances against the Wareham Gateman, he's three for seven, a run, an RBI. He's really great at the top of the lineup for the Braves. He can get stolen bases with his legs. He can beat out infield singles. He can stretch singles into doubles, doubles into triples. And don't underestimate his power, too. I know he's at the top of the lineup for the Braves, but he had nine home runs for Dallas Baptist this year and had a 3.28 average this spring for the Patriots. You know, he's really a player to watch out for. The Gateman, they're probably weary they know what he can do by now, but it's up to Miller Hogan and the rest of this pitching staff to make sure that today's game goes well and they can limit his production. Absolutely, and if the Gatemen do beat the Bourne Braves today, they could potentially be one game behind first place depending on the results of Falmouth and Katuit tonight as well. What's your key for the Gatemen to kind of cut this lead in the standings down? Well, the offense has been good as of recently, so my tip to the pitching staff would be just prevent the big inning from happening. You know, the first time the Gatemen and and the Braves played just about a week ago here at Spillane Field. The Gateman had a 2-0 lead for most of the early going in that game. And then Bourne had one big inning. It was a four-run fourth inning that took the Gateman's 2-0 lead and turned it to a Braves two-run lead. So 
you know, when you give up a series of hits, especially with two outs, that can be really detrimental. What they did last night and what they did really well was they only gave up one run in the first and one run in the fourth inning. And I think that that was sort of the key to success. That's why the Gatemen got their first win of the season against the Braves last night. Thanks, Connor. And today, tonight's game between the Bourne Braves and the Wareham Gateman will begin at 6.30 p.m. We thank you for watching this edition of the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health. Be sure to stay right here on the Gateman Baseball Network for the game action at 6.30.